Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror thriller film, Cry Wolf. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a blonde girl running through the pitch black woods. A flashlight appears behind, someone seems to be following her. Upon glancing back at her pursuer, she trips and falls. She looks up and sees her pursuer right behind her. She crouches on a nearby tree, hiding under a mound of leaves, keeping as quiet as possible. Her pursuer, unable to find her, gets their phone and dials her number. The blonde girl's phone rings as she scrambles to retrieve it. Her pursuer pulls a gun out upon locating her and shoots her dead. A new day begins. Owen carries his things as he enters the preparatory school. He walks across the campus and finds that there isn't a single student anywhere. He stops in front of a building and exits a redhead in a school uniform. He begins to talk with her and asks where everyone is. The redhead tells him that other students are in the assembly being lectured about safety due to the death of the blonde girl in the woods. The same night, as Owen sleeps peacefully, he is awakened by his roommate inviting him to the chapel. He doesn't want to go at first, but he tags along immediately after his roommate mentions that the redhead asked to invite him. In the chapel, he and a group of the redhead's friends play game. She explains the rules to Owen. She is the shepherd, and she can choose the liar in the group who is termed the wolf, while the rest are the sheep. Everyone closes their eyes as the redhead goes around the group, choosing Owen. The redhead draws a red line, using lipstick on the chest of the wolf. If the entire gang can find the liar, they win the cash prize, but Owen wins if they fail to find the wolf. They start removing the most suspicious one in the group. The cool kid is eliminated first. Each member of the gang leaves, and eventually, Owen wins the lying game. He ends up saying something insulting about the gang, and the redhead, feeling offended, walks out on him. At lunch the next day, Owen sits at the table with the redhead and her gang. They talk about their weekend plans. The redhead decides to play the lying game, this time with the entire student body. The gang decides to convince the school that the prior pursuer is a serial killer, and that the list of murders is just getting started. Much to the redhead's dismay, no one in the entire gang knows what to do. She walks out of them, devastated. Owen runs after the redhead to tell his ideas. They walk through the school, discussing the scheme, until they reach the library to devise a plan. Owen writes an email to forward to the whole student body about the killer. Every serial killer is about to have a name, so they call this Mass Murderer the Wolf. They'd also give him his signature outfit, an orange ski mask, a camouflage jacket, and he carries with him a hunting knife as his weapon of choice. On the school grounds, Owen, the redhead, the cool kid, the Afro kid, and his girlfriend make up stories on how the serial killer allegedly murdered his past victims, who were prep students. The attacks are said to happen on the whole moon night on Halloween. That evening, Owen forwards the email to everyone else using his own address. The following days pass, and everyone starts talking about the email, forwarding it to everyone they know. One morning, the teacher calls Owen's attention upon arriving at the school. They play a game of chess as they talk about the email that is sent by Owen. They also discuss Owen's probationary status, and the teacher warns him that he needs to be careful of his actions, since they have consequences. Afterward, Owen tries to call his dad's cell, but the father still puts him on voicemail. Moments later, he receives an anonymous instant message from the wolf, who threatens him. Owen thinks it's his roommate playing a prank on him. But not long after, the roommate enters the room. They now suspect it's the redhead tricking them. The redhead practices her swimming skills in the school natatorium, but is later disturbed by something dropping on the pool. Owen and his roommate throw ice blocks on the pool to scare the redhead. The last block of ice to be thrown, they try to hide. The redhead pretends to have been drowned. After saving her and confronting the prank, she admits that she was with the four-eyed girl the entire morning. She convinces Owen that it must have been the ginger pulling the prank. Not long after, Owen finds the ginger tutoring a group of students. Owen confronts him about pulling the prank, but the ginger reasons he has been studying with that group since the sixth period. He then tells Owen that he made a noise complaint regarding the ruckus inside Owen's room. Upon finding out that the ginger's room is directly above his, he runs back to the dormitory and finds his roommate's side of the bed completely trash, while his side is left untouched. The roommate gets angry at him, when suddenly Owen receives another instant message about one of their friends being a target of the wolf. They see a bloody tongue ring on top of his computer. Afterward, they call the four-eyed girl, and find out that the redhead lied about her whereabouts in the morning. Owen finds the redhead and confronts her about lying. They go to the library's basement, where it's quiet, so they can talk. The redhead tells the truth about her being a local of that city. Apparently, they believe that whoever is a local of that city that goes to the prep school is trash. They start confessing their feelings to one another when Owen notices someone dressed as the wolf. The light sensor goes on and off. They try to hide from the alleged wolf and realize it's only the librarian. Outside the library, 
They make a bet about the cool kid's date with a sorority girl. Owen realizes that he has forgotten his backpack in the library and goes back inside. When he fails to find it, he calls the sorority girl to reach the cool kid. But the sorority girl tells him that the cool kid stood her up. Owen wins the bet he has with the redhead. He looks for her and finds the Afro kid's girlfriend, who tells him that she is in the teacher's office. When he walks into the office, he witnesses the silhouette of the teacher and the redhead kissing. He is shocked at what he sees and leaves the boy's dormitory. He goes back to his dorm room, and his roommate tells him that his backpack is returned by the librarian. Owen doesn't even bother checking his bag. They discuss the Halloween party and what to dress up as. Owen is devastated. He informs his roommate that he is not going to the party and will work instead. The next day in journalism class, a hunting knife drops from Owen's backpack. He is surprised by the weapon and quickly picks it up. The rest of the class screams and avoids him, thinking that he will hurt anyone. The teacher manages to grab the knife away from Owen. As they walk out of the classroom, the teacher starts telling Owen about packing his bags because of that incident. He is definitely in a heap of trouble. Owen threatens the teacher about his love affair with the redhead. The teacher has no choice but to let the event slide, as his career is now on the line. On the night of the Halloween party, Owen listens to music as he mops the cafeteria floor. The wolf enters through the front doors and scares him. The wolf tries to attack him, but he manages to escape. Owen runs all the way to where the Halloween party is being held. Owen sees the Afro kid and the four-eyed girl dressed up at the party, telling them about the wolf being out to get him. They convince him it's only his roommate, scaring him to lead him to the party. Thinking his roommate is trying to prank him, he leaves with the roommate's car but sees the wolf in the backseat and attacks him. The attacker ends up being the Afro kid's girlfriend. She tries to prove that attackers can be women. The following day, the headmistress calls for the Afro kid's girlfriend and Owen. She concludes that Owen's fate will be decided over the weekend and thus forces the rest of the gang to stay at school over the weekend. Upon realizing that Halloween is on that day, he contacts the gang to meet in the chapel. Owen, his roommate, the redhead, the Afro kid, and the four-eyed girl try to get to the bottom of the attacks. Owen then confronts the redhead about her affair with the teacher, but she walks out on him again. While the Afro kid calls someone on the phone, the wolf attacks his girlfriend inside the girl's dormitory bathroom. As the Afro kid flees, Owen tries to call for help, but no one believes him, because the security happens to be receiving the same prank calls all day. Owen's cry for help is ignored. Meanwhile, the four-eyed girl and the roommate argue about something. The three of them see the cool kid's body in the confession booth, getting murdered the way the wolf allegedly murdered his victims in the past. Scared for their lives, they decide to leave the school. Owen wants to look for the redhead and asks his roommate to wait for them. Owen runs to the girl's dormitory and witnesses the wolf attack the Afro kid. He sees his roommate's car and runs to the parking lot. He runs for the parked vehicle, but they leave without him. He recognizes the teacher's car parked and finds that the teacher is still on campus. Owen runs to the teacher's office to look for him. The telephone rings. On the other end of the line, the redhead cries because she appears to have seen the Afro kid's girlfriend murdered. The redhead tells Owen that she is going to the teacher's office. He sees her through the window and sees the wolf behind her. The wolf attacks the redhead and murders her. Owen is scared for his life and finds a handgun at the teacher's desk. Meanwhile, the teacher tries to enter his office. Owen notices that the teacher has a jacket, an orange mask, and a hunting knife he happens to find by the stairwell. Owen starts freaking out as he continues to point the handgun at the teacher. They scuffle for the gun. The teacher manages to grab the gun from him, but Owen shoots him in the chest. The teacher lies on the floor, bleeding, and dies. The reddit casually enters the room and sees the teacher's lifeless body lying in his pool of blood. The roommate and the four-eyed girl follow. The three students are shocked at the sight of the dead body. Not long after, Owen is arrested for murder. While the group admits to the police that what they just did is all a prank to get back at the Afro kid's girlfriend and Owen for making them stay on campus. They didn't realize that their harmless practical joke would turn to murder overnight. Meanwhile, two people investigate the teacher's office and find pictures of the dead blonde girl with him. They appear to have been involved with each other as well. In the police station, the father of Owen visits him and tells him that the police will be dropping the charges on account of self-defense. His father tells him that the gun he found on the teacher's desk is the same gun used to murder the blonde girl before. Subsequently, the redhead visits Owen, tearfully admitting that she wouldn't have made the gang prank Owen if she had known the teacher was involved with the blonde girl. At that time, he puts two and two together and realizes that the redhead planned everything all along. The movie ends with the redhead avoiding suspicion by using Owen as her puppet, manipulating her friends and the entire student body under cover of the prank, so as to eliminate her enemy, which is the teacher. When Owen confronts her about the truth, 
The Reddit calmly tells him that even if his accusations were true, who would ever believe Owen would attempt to cry wolf? This is Daniel's CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.